Hey, I'm Ryan Lagarde. And I'm Craig Tovey. And welcome to Storytime with Ryan Lagarde. And Craig Tovey. Remember, hold on. Where's your mustache? You noticed. Yeah, it's gone. I had to shave for work. Is it gonna grow back? Yeah, I think in like a month. Are you sure though? Follow us on Instagram to see if it grows back. Or go to our website, ryanandcraig.com. You can watch all of our read-alouds there. Or send us a message. And you can say anything. Ooh, I have something to say. Go for it. I want to give a shout out to Cora in Springfield, Missouri for sending today's book. Thanks for sending us this book, Cora. We can't wait to read it. Because today's book is... <gasps> Duck and Goose, written and illustrated by Tad Hills. Let's get started. I sure hope it grows back. Duck and Goose, written and illustrated by Tad Hills. Oh my, what is that? Duck quacked. That's a subtle question. Goose honked. It is a big egg, of course. Of course it is an egg. I know that. Huffed Duck. What I mean is, where did it come from? Goose looked skyward. He looked to the river. He looked to the fields. He thought very hard. Hmm, who are you? He asked finally. I, said Duck, puffing out his feathered chest, am the one whose egg this is. I saw it first. Goose quickly raised one webbed foot. It's mine. I touched it first. I'm not sure that's an egg. Yeah, I don't think it's an egg. I think it's probably like a beach ball. Ooh, I think it's a painted rock. Hmm, a perfectly round painted rock. Oh, you're right. Maybe it's an egg. Okay. Hey, you should never put your dirty foot on an egg. Duck scolded. Don't you know anything about caring for eggs? Thus I do. Goose cried out. Stop. Yelling! Duck yelled, then whispered forcefully. Don't you know that you and your screaming are very likely disturbing the baby bird who is trying to take a snooze inside this egg? Goose wished the duck wasn't right. He lowered his head and whispered softly. I'm very sorry. Go back to sleep in there. My, that's quite a beauty you have! Called a bluebird from across the river. Thank you, it's mine, quacked Duck. Actually, it's mine, honked Goose. Thank you. So, asked Duck, what do we do now? We should do something, suggested Goose. Yes, you are right. Good thinking, agreed Duck. Like what? Duck and Goose each thought, this egg is private property. Duck's egg. No geese allowed. No honking. Five dollar fine. If you are a duck, keep walking. No ducks beyond this point. Quiet, please. Absolutely no quacking in this area. Well, we must keep the egg warm until the fuzzy little occupant is ready to come out, said Goose. Excellent idea, exclaimed Duck. He pushed past Goose. Step aside and I shall do just that. But Goose was quick too. I'm not sure that's an egg. It seems like it's some sort of giant painted rock. Or a ball, because it's rolling. It's really round. I don't know. <gasps> Maybe it's an egg. <laughs> After a flurry of fussing, grunting and groaning, slipping and sliding, honking and quacking, Duck and Goose found themselves back to back. Go over! I don't have any room, complained Duck. You are much closer to me than I am to you. Stop yelling in my ear, Goose. Goose hushed, pointing at the round thing beneath them. Yes, yes, yes. We must remember. Quiet, quiet, quiet. We mustn't disturb the little one. And so they sat, very still and very quiet, waiting. For a long time, they waited. They listened to the crickets chirp and the frogs burp. I'm going to teach this baby bird to quack like a duck. Duck boasted. Well, I'm going to teach it to honk like a goose. Goose honked back. I'm going to teach this baby bird to waddle. Goose added. So am I, Duck said. They heard the pitter-patter of the rain. I'm going to teach this baby bird to swim, Duck said. Me too, Goose said. To pass the time, they sniffed wildflowers in the warm sun and shared breadcrumbs while Goose taught Duck to honk. They watched the sunset in the sky, and Duck taught Goose to quack. Wow. They're creating quite the friendship on top of this giant beach ball? Rock? Uh, balloon? 
Maybe it is an egg. It might be. It might be. Because eggs bring people together. Yeah. At breakfast on farms. It's kind of the only two I can think of right now. That's good. We can stop guessing. They counted the stars in the night sky. Let's teach our baby to fly, said Goose. Good idea, said Duck. I'm sure our baby will be a fast learner, said Duck. Little Duck's after you and me. I'm sure you're right, agreed Goose. Together they waited until... Did you feel that, Duck? Duck nodded. Yes, did you feel that, Goose? Goose nodded. It's time, Goose, it's time, Duck squawked. Quickly, Duck slid down and started running in circles around their egg. What should we do now? He hollered. I think we should remain calm. Goose yelled back. Excuse me. A little voice called out. Duck stopped. In all the exciting confusion, he had failed to notice the bluebird kicking their egg. Can I play too? She asked. Play? This is no time for play, yelled Duck. This is no time for games, yelled Goose. And what's with the kicking? I was only trying to get your attention, said the little bird. Well, you got it, Duck huffed. False alarm, Goose. Back to work. Can't you see that we are very busy here? Goose explained to the bluebird. This is serious business. This is perhaps the most important moment of our lives. Oh my, I am sorry, apologized the bluebird. I had no idea. I just thought that maybe I could play with your ball. It really is a nice one, she added, and then she flew away. What did I tell you? Craig, it pains me. Yes. But I really feel like I must say, I've been right the entire time, and it is clearly a ball. That's what I said. I said that. Remember when you thought it was a painted rock? What? <laughs> Goose gulped. Did she say ball? He whispered to Duck. You know, I did have my doubts. Duck finally said. It is a bit squishier than most eggs I've seen. Yes, and I must say, I was certainly suspicious of those big dots, Goose admitted. It may not be an egg, but it is lovely, said Duck. Oh, absolutely, Duck, Goose agreed. That's a keeper. As the crickets chirped, the frogs burped, and the grass swayed in a gentle breeze, Goose quacked and Duck honked, and the ball bounced, rolled, and sometimes even flew. So clearly, from this book, we learned that... It's a helicopter! Have you seen a helicopter? Yeah, it's right there in the book! Is it round? Lion! Yes, it's right... This is my only helicopter I've ever seen! Wow. Is it flying? Yes. Helicopter! Okay. Duck and Goose! Written and illustrated by Tad Hills. Tad Hills!